Okay, our, our winning uh, team from our, our first semifinal, of course, uh, Coach um, Ed Gosek, um, and then uh, to his uh, right is the goaltender, Andrew Hare. Uh, Tyler Weinrock is in the middle, and Chris Muse um, are our three players. Coach, uh, first off, congratulations on, on a big win. I, I would say take us through the, the game, but take us through the, that third period if you could, and uh, an explosive third period for your offense. Well, we certainly didn't get off to the start that we wanted uh, in the game, and you know, it, thank God it wasn't deja vu of St. Norbert last year. So, uh, but I think the biggest difference this year is the uh, the experience, um, the maturity, uh, the guys. The, they're not kids anymore. I mean, they're not just age-wise, but in their actions of how they handled adversity. And as we say every game, there's going to be adversity and how are you going to handle it? And the momentum swings. Uh, you know, we tie it up, they go ahead, we battle back. And then in the third period, I thought we just did a lot of simple things well. First period, we probably transitioned the puck as well as we have all season long. Uh, second period, I thought, you know, they made changes and so some of those passes weren't there. But then we were smart, made passes underneath coverage to come up the ice as a unit. And then in the third period, I thought, uh, you know, we had some good saves by Andrew when they early on. Um, and then I think we just chipped away. You know, we hey, we wanted to keep getting pucks deep, make their defensemen skate, and uh, continue to get bump, bumps, not turn it over and start the breakout. The Norwich is very good in transition, and. Uh, we created some turnovers and we're opportunistic. Andrew, as a goaltender, this is your, your senior year, I believe. How, how big was it emotionally for you? You gave up the quick goal 20 seconds in, then you're able to bounce back. Uh, was that quick goal, was that something that you erased from your mind immediately and, and just started to, to refocus? Or, uh, you know, what, emotionally, what was that like for you? Yeah, you know, obviously, uh, you don't want to let a goal in that early. And, uh, you know, the boys a lot of credit, you know, last year, you know, as coach said, you know, in the finals it happened and unfortunately it didn't work out for us, but tonight, you know, we battled back, you know, didn't get down on the bench, you know, definitely got a pull a lot to the boys for that. And uh, as a goalie, um, just try to erase it and look back at the scoreboard and then you're minus zero zero. So Tyler, at one point you're down one nothing, then you're down two one. What was the emotion on the bench? Did you always feel as though you were you were in the game or did you feel as though the team was playing catch-up and just looking for that break? Uh, I definitely I knew we were in the game, you know, the, the leadership that we have on the team, uh, nobody got, you know, too excited or overexcited, I guess, and, you know, uh, everybody calmed down, and, and, you know, we've been doing it all year, we've, we've fallen behind them before, and, you know, sometimes it, it uh, you know, it didn't pay off for us, but, you know, we're clicking so well right now that, uh, you know, guys on the team, especially, you know, Brownie and, and White Air captains, you know, they, they really know how to take control, they really know how to set all guys down, you know, it's, it's something that you look for in leadership, and, uh, you know, there's, you know, no... No point that we thought we were out of the game or anything like that. We just stuck to our game plan and uh, it worked out for us. Chris, I was talking to some of the players last night. You guys were really looking forward to taking on Norwich. And I was thinking, well, would you want to take on maybe another team that hasn't been here before? But you knew something that, that maybe I didn't or, or some of us didn't tonight? No, uh, but I think in order to be the best, you kind of, you got to beat the best, right? So, um, you know, we, we embraced the challenge. and. Uh, you know, we wouldn't have it any other way other than to, you know, to go into tomorrow's, tomorrow's game beating the, the best team, the best seed. So it was, you know, we were happy with that. Well, let's open it up. Coach, in the games I've seen your team play so far this year, by far the, the best effort, total team-wise and physical effort, has been the last three games. So how do you get your team to peak at just the right moment? Well, I think uh, players are agree with me. I think the turning point uh, was our loss at Plattsburgh, uh, end of the season loss, where uh, it was self-inflicted. Plattsburgh's a very good team, and they are opportunistic. Uh, but again, like last year, I think it was Christmas time with the Pathfinder tournament with Newman, where we did some soul searching. So it happened a little earlier last year. This year, it really was late. And with the senior team, you, you know, every year it becomes their team. Sometimes it's early in the season, sometimes it's late in the season, and really for this veteran group, it was very late. Did they really take ownership and were willing 
they all sacrifice, don't get me wrong, but are you really willing to do the extra things on the ice, lifestyle, um, supporting one another, um, when you make mistakes, you know, as we keep saying to them, anybody can do it when it's easy, um, how are you going to react when it's when there's adversity and when it's tough. And so for, for the, these guys, the last three games, I think after that Plattsburgh game, the pressure of not, I think, having that comfort that, okay, even if we lost, we were still going to get in the tournament, I think they're, they, they knew. You know, we lost to Buff State, it's, it's over. We lost to Platy, it's over. You know, and obviously Adrian and tonight. So I think that uh, they enjoy each other. They don't want it to end. Um, if it ends, we want it. it's going to be because we got beat by a better team, not because it was self-inflicted with undisciplined play, and not just undisciplined with penalties, but within our systems and attitude and focus. Uh, Chris just walk us through the goal. Obviously, you make the play, you make it get the turnover, and then transition back the other way, and Brownie trying to get the pass. Yeah, the it was uh, it was a great pass by Brownie. Uh, he kind of hesitated, thought it was maybe going to be offside, but. Um, you know, I just had one goal and I saw Bobby Kurtzakis streaking the far side, so I just wanted to kind of throw it on net and I think it deflected off a of Norwich defender. I think he tried to, to tip it in, or to deflect it away, and um, no, it, was, it was great. It was, I didn't even see it go in until I was kind of behind the net, so it was definitely a good feeling. Just to follow up to that, you're, you showed great quick hands on that play, I thought. Over your four years here, I think you've really uh, progressed that part of your game to where it's at. Uh, and, and I think that uh, it showed on that play quick hands. Uh, would you agree with that? Would you kind of Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, no, it's, uh, <laughs> uh, no, absolutely. I mean, uh, it's, you know, we were always working on things like that in practice. And, um, you know, obviously since my freshman year, I guess my hands have gotten a little better. Yeah. So, no, it was, it was good to just to actually to get the goal. It was nice. And I'm wondering, uh, Tyler, if you could run through your goal. It's probably one of the more mental shifts you've had. Get some uh, partial breakaway there. And then cycling around and sticking with it. Just take us through that. Yeah, I mean, uh, just that, you know, I was just trying to get the puck deep. I saw that the Norwich defender was backing up a little bit, and I had a little bit of a jump on him, so I just tried to poke it past him. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, I didn't score on the breakaway. But, um, you know, I stuck with the play. And, um, yeah, I mean, just the little cycle that we had going, you know, it's something that we've been working on. You know, it's a, it's a little drill that we do in practice once in a while. We do a corner to corner cycle. So I was, you know, when I went behind the net, I was just trying to, you know, open up, to kind of spread, uh, you know, the back of the rink open a little bit. And, uh, you know, uh, actually, Muse, you know, found uh, Titanic right in front, and you know, Titanic made a great play. You know, made it, you know, real easy for me. You know, a wide open net. You know, I hope I don't miss those. So, um, yeah, it's just, uh, you know, it was a huge turning point, and uh, you know, it was just, it was a great shift by uh, you know everyone involved. You too, Chris. Four years ago, your guys' career started and ended right here with, with that loss to Norwich. How sweet is it to now, four years later, knock them off? Uh I think it was, wasn't it St. Norbert? Yeah. Was it Norbert? Okay, yeah. so it was Norbert. All right, but I'm either sorry. Way, either way, you guys able to advance now senior year. Yeah, I mean, it's unbelievable. Uh, obviously, we're we're not done yet, but just we're going to enjoy this for, for a little bit of the evening. And, um, you know, to, talk, to knock off a team like Norwich, who, you know, has been here, I think, every year the past four years, it's, you know, they're a solid team. They're, they're well coached. Uh, you know, their seniors stepped up tonight. And, uh, you know, to beat a team like that is, you know, it, it feels real good to beat him. So, Chris, I might add that you've also been here for the last four years too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chris, when your career started, you and much the role you love is the instigator role. You love to be the grinder. You love to be the guy that gets under people's skin. In the last second half of the season, especially, you really take on that playmaker role. What has changed for you and made you be able to get on this really hot streak offensively? Uh, honestly, I'm gonna have to probably give a little bit of credit, just a little bit of credit to the coaching staff. Um, <laughs> They, uh, you know, obviously I've always taken on that instigator role and ever since my junior days and I guess, uh, you know, the past couple games, I guess it's just all been, you know, I don't want to focus too much on that. Um, you know, with my line mates, we kind of, you know, we kind of want to provide that secondary scoring and in order to do that, I can't, I don't want to get too much, too involved in that you know, sort of instigating role. And, Although I do like to do it, um, you know, there's times to do it, there's times not. So uh, it's it's more focused on, on making plays and, and doing the, the right thing offensively. Del? Um, Andrew, um, this has been a really whirlwind two weeks for the team. 
um, heading out to Adrian Thursday, getting back Sunday morning, heading out here Wednesday. Um, how do you think that the schedule has helped the team focus, um, but perhaps differently than it has in recent years? Well, I think uh, at least since I've been here, um, we've the past two years we've always hosted that uh, quarterfinal game. So I mean, you know, playing at home, it's obviously there's not much pressure. I find we play better there. So being able to go on the road to Adrian, you know, to a small bar and like that, and to you know, get some revenge on them for what happened in Minnesota was definitely uh, you know good for us as a team. You know, it helps us build. And you know, we've talked about uh, you know after that Glassburg loss, you know, every, from every game on then was you know a tight game, and we knew that you know when we come here, there's not going to be any blowouts or anything like that. It's all tight games, and we got to do whatever it takes to to win those. So it's definitely uh, helped us a lot. And then I think it showed again today, and you'll probably show you tomorrow. Yep. Uh, Coach, in the beginning, it looked like you had a lot of stretch passes there, and then and your attack seemed to be focused through through the middle, more towards the outside. Was that a uh, conscious decision, part of the game plan, or was just something that he was, was it something that he evolved during the game? Well, we we try to do that all the time. I mean, uh, last week I think we we had twenty seven line rush scoring opportunities against Adrian. And we weren't very good on capitalizing on them. So, uh, you know, it, we stuck with it. Uh, the negative part of that is your forwards think the D are going to get it to them every time, and then you, there's an awful lot of space between their forwards attacking our D. So, as we say, we pick and choose the times to, to try to transition the puck. And uh, we do, you know, the boys will tell you, we work on it a lot, but we're always stressing you know, come back, support the D. Uh, we want to turn it up as quick as we can. In the past, learning from our shortcomings, uh, we thought we were a little too deliberate coming out of our own zone and teams could stay on top of us and make it difficult. So uh, tonight it worked. I would agree with you in the first period and uh, uh, tried to keep things simple. You know, we had a couple cross ice passes in our own end in the first period that make your hair fall out and give you more gray hair and you, yeah, same as you, so yeah. uh, <laughs> they, uh, they, were, they were good, I, uh, you know, the forwards presenting themselves but also our D making good decisions. Let's take one. Many nights it doesn't go that way. Let's take one more question. Coach, you alluded to it a little bit by giving up the goal so early. Uh, Deja moved to the Norbert team last year. Uh, did you like, obviously you bounced back uh, quickly after that, about three minutes after that. Did you like the tone on the bench after you gave up that quick one? Well, they're saying the right things. And the leadership was not very good. But, you know, as we say, talking part is the easy. You know, um, back it up with, uh, you know, your performance. So this time of year, they, it's not, you can't just have discipline and work hard. I mean, you're not going to win if you don't have those two, but you have to be able to execute. And, you know, the opportunities that we, we did, we executed. And, um, you know, of course, we don't want to start that way. You know, I, I don't know what the guy in Adrian last weekend in the post game thing said when you score first year or something. And I, quite frankly, didn't even realize that statistic. So tonight you get down first, and I don't think about what the hell the guy asked me last week. Jeez, <laughs> you know, this isn't good, because he told me, you know, whatever our record is. So obviously we, we want to get off to a better start, but as we always say, uh, you know, Norwich, when we looked at their stats, they outshot and outscored teams pretty dramatically in the third period. So we knew the type of effort that it was going to take in the third, which is usually their best period. So that answers your question. All right, with that, guys, uh, we'll let you go, and we'll see you in about 24 hours. Chris, Tyler, Andrew, Coach, congratulations on a big win tonight. Yeah,